The first time I was unfaithful to Dan, it was because I was upset with him. I had a women's breakfast plan for me and my girlfriends. For whatever reason, he just woke up that morning and was just being a jerk. I asked him for money. Dan told me no. I'm a brat. <laughs> I'm not really sure how else to put it. I got really upset and I reached out to an ex from the past. One thing led to another and we ended up having sex. When I got home, Dan immediately knew that something was wrong. He just kind of had a sixth sense. She was behaving totally different and very distant. Two days later, I did come clean. I felt gutted, cut completely down the middle in half. I felt like a part of me died that day. He was completely devastated, freaking out. He made me call the guy and tell him that I would never want to talk to him or see him again. After the first affair, I did make a vow to Dan that I would never cheat on him again. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Well, Angela says after she admitted to her first affair, Dan's nonstop questioning drove her into the arms of other numerous men. Well, he's going to ask questions, right? Take a look at this. Following the first affair, Dan didn't give me a chance to redeem myself. Dan continuously accused me of talking and seeing other men when I wasn't. I just figured that if he was going to accuse me, I was just going to go ahead and do it. For two whole years, I just did it whenever I wanted to do it. I was unfaithful to Dan with about 20 guys. I slept with friends from high school, people that I met at the casino where I worked, mutual friends on Facebook. I was intimate with guys three to four times a week. I would tell Dan that I had to work late when I got off earlier on another occasion. I would tell him that I would have to cover shifts when I didn't have to go to work at all. There were times where I would leave for a couple days at a time to have sexual encounters. One time I even went out of town on a work vacation with another man. I ended up being gone for five days. So at the time, I didn't feel any remorse. I was out of control. When I'm talking to these guys, I just get some sort of high of knowing how good they are in bed. I enjoy the danger, the risk, and the thrill of all of it. I have had sex that has involved choking and bondage. I've even had sex with a guy who happens to be a drug dealer. I've even been to trap houses and drug houses to meet this person. I do this for the excitement of it all. When I'm out doing these things, I completely block out being a wife, being a mother. It's just completely gone in my mind. For the longest time, I was able to keep all of my affairs a secret until one day my daughter found a video on my phone and showed it to Dan. Dan completely flipped out. When people look at me, they would never even think that I had a sexual addiction. I'm a wife, mother of four children. I've taught preschool. I've owned my own business, which is all completely opposite of the life I've been living. I know what I've done is wrong, but it's a struggle. Well, I'm glad you're here. Are you? Yes. Why? Because I'm going to get help. Now, you said Dan has begged me to stop, begged me to stop, but I just can't. You don't really want to stop, do you? Yes, I do want to stop. Why? You just said I get all of this out of it, so wh why would you want to not have that? Because my family and um, having my husband is a lot more important to me than that.